I'm a half vegan who does CrossFit, and I'll make damn sure you know about it. The C and L are silent. Just ask your boyfriend. Even if I lose, I can promise this won't be the last you see in me. We're, We're the, the real housemates of College Town. <laughs> <laughs> Kim does this thing where she orders a pizza every single day before she comes home, which I eat before she arrives. So then when she gets home and sees no pizza, she orders another one, which she also shares with me. Bam, two pizzas for the price of none. Is my pizza here? Let me guess. No. That place is so unreliable. You should sue or something. You think I don't know that Dee's the one that's been eating my pizzas? I know. That's why I've been paying for them with her credit card, which I stole after her first pizza scam. This isn't real best friends of College Town. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win. Woo! What's up, Scissor Sisters? I'm Peachy Keen, about to order a pizza. As God intended. I can smell the pizza on your breath, traitor. Also, you dumbasses left the box on top of the trash stack, but I'm willing to forgive your lapse in judgment if you agree to form an alliance with me, because together, we can win this. All right, so I know we're on a reality show, but I'm pretty sure Kim thinks this is like Big Brother or something. Somebody should tell her. I mean, maybe not right away, because it's hella entertaining listening her mumble those competition cliches to herself all the time, but sometime, maybe soon. Actually, no, don't. Just forget I said anything. It's a deal, Kimbo Slice. Oh my god. It'd be super coolio if you'd buy more milk. XOXO, Gossip Girl, and I'm just playing it's Becca. More communication from the other side. Becca left us a new note. None of us have actually met our fourth roommate. Her door is always locked, and apparently she only leaves and returns in the wee hours of the night. And like, she only communicates with us through passive aggressive sticky notes. Like, fine by me. That's one less girl I got out smart on my way to the finish line. That shady queen. We actually don't have a fourth roommate. I've been the one leaving the passive aggressive sticky notes as Becca. Listen. I just need the extra room for my DVD collection. If you think that I'm letting those monsters get anywhere near my 25th anniversary edition of The Last Unicorn, no, not a minority's chance at a Trump rally. As long as the other two don't notice that I'm splitting the extra rent between us, that is our little secret. Oh my god, this is the only one. Holy nutsack almighty. Oh, what, is your dad here? <laughs> no, you soggy tortilla, it's freaking Becca. Freaking Becca. I'm such a space cadet sometimes, I totally lost my key again. <laughs> bitch, ass, damn, hell. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. It's nice to finally lay eyes on you, Becca, you elusive night princess. That's not Becca. How would you know that? We've never even seen her before. Exactly. So how do you know that it is her? Fine then, all right. All right, well, let's glass slipper this bitch. So, Becca, my precious sugar flower, I'm gonna need you to pass a security checkpoint before I can accept that you're not playing me. Fine. What was the passive aggressive sticky note you left on the milk this morning? Buy more milk, obviously. Piss dick. Well, that question may have been poorly phrased. Okay, okay, let the audience favor take over. What did the passive aggressive sticky note you left on the dirty dishes say? <sighs> Easy, stop sleeping with my boyfriend. Becca's a lesbian, you imposter. Both dodged. Look at the 25th anniversary edition of The Last Unicorn! Do you hear me, Dee? Oh, 
What kind of psycho babble nonsense? <laughs> Bring up the host? Did I just win a challenge? So that'll be 1050. <sighs> tip? Get the f off my porch. That's your tip. We're the real housemates of College Town. <laughs>